Welcome to Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland in the utmost north of Finland. Set within a charming frozen land, Rovaniemi is located just a few short kilometers south of the Arctic Circle and is the hometown of Santa Claus. The ninth year of the TER starts in Andalucía in Spain, through to the French Riviera, up to Lisbon in Portugal, across Greece, through the Sardinian Islands, before the glamorous season finale in the Portuguese Azores Island. The 2024 season will be the second year of a TER series, the World Series of TER, which will start in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Córdoba in Spain. Rally Barbados will also feature on the calendar, together with the final event at Rally Terrasada in Sardinia. The 59th Arctic Lapland Rally will open the season as a promo event for the series. As a reminder, the characteristics of the Arctic Lapland Rally are plenty of snow, very fast roads and a great entry list. Everything is set for an exceptional and extreme show. In recent editions of the Tuntori Rally, the historical name of the event, drivers such as Keke Rosberg, Mika Salo, Mika Hakkinen, Kimi Raikkonen, Valtteri Bottas, Heikki Kovalainen, Danny Sordo, Yari Mati Latvala, and Kali Rovampera have all tried their hand at it. We are, we are doing a lot of work for this, that we have a lot of international drivers and you are helping. Your company is helping us very much and, and that's why we have Swedish rally very near now after two weeks. They are doing the test here. In, uh, Lapland here, because the snow is, I think, it's same that in Umeå area. The 59th Arctic Lapland Rally is run over two days with 12 special stages for a total distance of 200 kilometers of special stages. Great interest awaits the participation in Rovaniemi of the two official Toyota Yaris Rally 1 cars of the 2022 and 2023 World Rally Champion Kali Rovampera and his teammate Elfin Evans. Yeah, this is a great event. It's always uh, quite good atmosphere, a lot of people here and uh, also, the roads are really nice, so we are testing for Sweden and hopefully it's a good weekend. Yeah, it's quite, an, quite a nice rally, very high speed. Um, it looks like there's some gravel this year, um, so the conditions will be interesting, quite tough for the tyres, I guess. Uh, but it's perhaps not so different to what we might face in a few weeks. Four-time Finnish champion Timu Asunmaa will also aim to secure a win in Lapland. I expect very high competition level. <laughs> okay, a lot of rally drivers here and also also WRC. But uh, okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Mikko Heikkila will debut in Rovaniemi with a new Toyota Yaris GR Rally 2 as a warm-up for the WRC Rally Sweden. Yeah, I'm expecting quite nice, nice rally. I'm pretty excited to be here again after after one year break. It's really nice to come here to drive the stages. Yeah, the level is really high as always here, so I'm quite excited. The battle for the overall victory on the Arctic Circle also includes the two Toyotas of young Finn Rupa Kohonen and Estonian Georg Linnemey, Benjamin Kohola's Hyundai i20 and Nicholas Grönholm's Skoda Fabia. 
The 2024 Arctic Lapland Rally also awaits for the Toyota World Rally Team principal and former WRC driver Yari Mati Latvala. It's an Arctic uh, adventure. It's a very special event. Uh, you can recce uh, as many times as you want the stasis. You can spend a week here preparing for the, for the stasis. Then the rally starts, you know, you're driving between the snow banks and the, and the very fast roads. Uh, and there is the spirit of the, of, the, of, the, of the Lapland also here in the city of Rovaniemi, which is giving a, a, a unique atmosphere. So that's why I think everybody loves this event. The 59th Arctic Lapland Rally Fight is on. There. Hello, Santa. Luca. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> hello, hello, and hello. welcome back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure last year when you followed us during the Arctic Club and the Rally. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> it us. was a great time. Do you remember how many times you have been here already? 17. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But I'm here because uh, I want to invite you again to follow Arctic Lap and Rally with us. It's a big pleasure to have you with us. Oh, thank you very much for invitation. It uh, will be very extremely ex uh, exciting weekend. And I would love to see what's going to happen. Hmm, the Santa video. I can feel that the Santa is somewhere clear here. What there? Where it is? I feel. Because in the video, it feels like it's somewhere else. Maybe under the car. Have a look. A warm greetings to you all from the Arctic Circle in Lapland. I hope you have a thrilling weekend together with the brilliant drivers and a good amount of horsepower instead of reindeer power this time. My dear friends, always be good and ad maiora. The weather isn't very cold this year in Rovaniemi, but the atmosphere remains unique. Right from the start, the two Toyota GR Yaris Rally 1 set the pace. The double reigning World Rally champion Kari Rovampara, co-driven by Jörna Haltonen, is the faster in the first two special stages and leads the rally, 2.8 seconds ahead of Evans. The three-time Vice World Rally champion, with Scott Martin at his side, tries to find his rhythm on the fast special stages of Lapland in preparation for the second round of the 2024 WRC in Sweden. Behind the two WRC Rally 1 crews, the battle for the Finnish Rally Championship starts with many drivers showing promising speed. No shortage of fun here.
After the first two stages of the day, Lauri Yuna is third overall with his Skoda Fabia, 2.2 seconds ahead of the twin car of Timu Asenmaar. The 2023 winner in Rovaniemi, co-driven by Vila Manisen Maki, leads by just 1.8 seconds over the Toyota GR Yaris Rally 2 of Mikko Heikkila and Christian Taimanen. Heikkila and Taimanen are also here, competing to gain sharpness for their WRC exploits in Sweden. Fifth is the Hyundai i20 Rally 2 of Kohala, six seconds behind Hekula and seven tenths ahead of Nicholas Gronholm's Skoda. The two Toyotas of Koanen and Linamai are in 8th and 9th place, 1.3 and 3.4 seconds behind Gronholm respectively. Nikolai Griezing closes out the top 10 with his Citroen C3 Rally 2. Great start to Arctic Lapland Rally for Yari Mati Latvala and Juho Hanninen. The team principal of Toyota Gazoo Racing WRC posts a great time for 10th overall on the first special stage with his historical yet wonderful Toyota Celica Turbo four wheel drive and is well in the fight with cars 30 years younger. The show on the special stages on the Arctic Circle is something that all rally fans must see. Drivers from all over the world have flocked to Rovaniemi to enjoy the surreal atmosphere of a one-of-a-kind rally. Kale Rovampera leads Arctic Lapland Rally after the first two stages. Action continues after service with two long stages. Rovampera attacks and tries to extend the gap to his rivals. The Finn is the faster in the third stage, 7.5 seconds ahead of his teammate, and again on the fourth test, this time by 14.5 seconds. With one stage to run before the end of the first leg, Rovampara leads the rally with a commanding 24.8 seconds on Evans. The Brick continues his test on the snow, showing the fight is far from finished yet. In the hunt for third place overall, Heikila and Asunma scrap over every tent. The Toyota Rally 2 driver signs the third fastest time on the third stage, but Asunma reacts on the fourth and topples Heikila by only two tenths. Kohan and follows in fifth position, 17.3 seconds behind Mikko Heikila and 4.6 seconds ahead of Griezin.
Due to an off-road excursion, Yuna, who was third after two stages, loses around 12 minutes and any possibility of a good result. An interesting fight for seventh position. On the third special stage, Granholm overtakes Kohala, but the Hyundai driver reacts immediately and retakes the place in the succeeding stage. Estonian Liname is ninth, ahead of Ansi Rikkonen in tenth. Latvala's great performance continues, standing in eleventh position after four stages, ahead of the two Toyota Yaris's of the Japanese duo Hikaru Kugure and Yuki Yamamoto. Part of Toyota's project to give experience to young Japanese drivers, with a mind to promoting them to future WRC drives. The first leg ends in the short, super special stage at the Mantivara racetrack. Evans is faster than Rovampara by 0.2 of a second, with no major changes in the standings. But all drivers provide a great show for the crowd. Karerovampara is the overnight leader of Arctic Lapland Rally. A cloudy day greets crews and fans, eager for more action, on the fast and challenging stages of the second leg of Arctic Lapland Rally. As they did on day one, Rovampara and Haltonen attack from the beginning and increase their advantage on Evans. The Brit is only faster than the Finn in the short 8th stage, by just one tenth. At the midday service park, Rovampara leads the 59th Arctic Lapland Rally by 36.3 seconds. In the fight for third place and for the Finnish Championship, Heikila and Asunmar fight in each stage. The Toyota driver is faster on the sixth special stage, the Skoda in the following two, and after SS8, Asunmar leads Heikila by just five seconds. It seems that the last part of the second leg will be decisive in sorting out the final podium position. In fourth place, the Toyota of young Finnish promise Rupa Kohonen, who, co-driven by Ansi Vinnika, is 33.1 seconds behind Asunmar and 18.7 seconds ahead of Liname and James Morgan's Yaris. After a very good race for him, Nikolai Griezin is forced to retire on special stage 7 due to a mechanical failure while running in sixth place. Liname therefore is sixth with his Toyota, ahead of Kohler's Hyundai and Grunholm's Skoda Fabia.
Ninth place midway through the second leg for Rikkonen, who with his Fabia precedes Eskelinen's sister car. <laughs> When he was in a fantastic 10th position, Yari Mati Latvila had a mechanical problem, had to repair the car and ended up late to the time control. A 7 minute penalty ensured he lost any possibility of keeping his top 10 spot. Kale Rovampara leads the rally after stage 8. Four stages to go. Yeah. Rovampera continues his great form and sets the fastest time on stages 9, 10 and 11. In the fight for the Finnish Championship and the third step of the overall podium, Hekila overtakes Asun Ma on the ninth stage and is again faster than him on the tenth. The Skoda driver reacts on the eleventh special stage and the two contenders arrive at the start of the final test separated by just 3.7 seconds. Anything can still happen in the final stage. Well, we have had uh, we had had a quite very very interesting event. I've been enjoying the uh, driving on conditions, and uh, those couple of stages I've been trying to push the Celica to the maximum. But uh, there are also moments that we had to back off and uh, take care of the car. But uh, we had uh, some technical issues we had to sort out. But uh, boys uh, did a nice job to change the gearbox, so we we could continue to get to the finish. In his first experience in Lapland, the 2017 Vice TER Tour European Rally Champion Bernd Cassier, co-driven by Peter Vinker, goes off-road in the last special stage and is forced to retire from the rally. After a hard rally for them, it's a good result in the end for the two Toyotas of Kogure and Yamamoto, who finished in 9th and 10th position respectively, divided by just 1.7 seconds after 200 kilometers of special stages. Rikkonen ends 8th behind Nicholas Grönholm, both in Skoda Fabias. Fifth is the final place for Linamay's Yaris Rally 2, ahead of Kohler's Hyundai. Twenty-eight seconds from the podium of the 2024 Arctic Lapland Rally, but finishing very strongly is Rupa Kohonen in the Toyota GR Yaris Rally 2. Last stage, Kari Rovampara just has to manage his wide advantage on Evans. But a few kilometers from the end, a mechanical failure strikes on his Yaris and forces him to abandon the rally. It's a technical issue on the final stage, just a couple of kilometers before the finish line. We made it quite close, but fortunately we had some good help there who pushed us up the hills. And we even ate some rally sausages in the midst of it all. We then put the helmets back on and now we're at the finish line of the Arctic Rally. That's an experience to have for sure. The fight for a place on the podium between Hekila and Asunma suddenly becomes the fight for second place. Hekila and Christian Temenon push hard in the last stage and close their Arctic Lapland rally with victory in the Finnish Championship and second place overall. 
Ja voittajat ovat tässä. Mikko Heikkilä, Kristian Temonen, TGS Toyota Jaris GR Ralli 2. It was really nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was first win here for me, so it feels quite nice. And last year it was so difficult all the rally, so nice to have some good results after a long break. Following Rovan Perez's abandonment in the last stage, Brits Elfin Evans and Scott Martin with a Toyota GR Yaris Rally 1 win the 59th Arctic Lapland Rally. The first place, Elfin Evans, Scott Martin, Iso Britannia, Great Britain, Toyota Yaris Rally 1. Well, I mean, it's a great, great mileage. Of course, it's such a specific surface, so it's great to to experience that. Um, some nice stages, uh, of course, so that's always always fun. Um, but honestly, on my side, there's still uh, clearly some work to do before we we head to Sweden. Um, things are not as they should be, so uh, let's uh, let's see what we can come up with now this week. Elfin Evans, Scott Martin. Elfin Evans and Scott Martin are the winners of the 2024 Arctic Lapland Rally in Rovaniemi. The 2024 TR awaits you in Spain from the 5th to the 7th of April for Rally Sierra Morena, which opens the Tour European Rally, TR Historic and TR Series seasons. We'll see you then. Bye for now. <laughs>